Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal likely to join Himant Soren in jail in some time from now. It seems quite likely that a second opposition chief minister could end up in jail. And the big question tonight, will the Aam Aadmi Party survive if Kejriwal is arrested? Uh, joining me in the studio is Rajdeep Sardesai. Rajdeep, this becomes because this has been building up for a very long time. And the critical question at this moment is, if and when, whether it happens tonight or it happens a little later, Kejriwal's arrest, especially on the back of what happened in the Delhi High Court, now seems imminent. If he gets arrested, will the AAP survive? Before the, whether the AAP survives, will the opposition, what, what does this do to the opposition? Because Kejriwal, uh, Rahul, you mentioned Heman Sorin. Heman Sorin, Jharkhand Chief Minister. Jharkhand one state, 14 seats. Kejriwal has always punched above his weight. Delhi, where this is happening, is the national capital. Kejriwal's residence, few kilometers away from where the Prime Minister resides. Kejriwal has tied up with the Congress. Kejriwal has been seen when he first came up in politics as an anti-corruption crusader. He's been a face in a way, a national face. You are now not just arresting, if his arrest takes place, as you're saying, the Delhi Chief Minister, but you're arresting a prominent national figure who has taken on the Modi government at various times over the last decade. So if his arrest indeed takes place, the question will have to be asked, Rahul, where does that leave the India alliance? Kavita being arrested is a BRS leader confined to Telangana. Heman Soren being arrested is a, uh, is a leader of Jharkhand confined to Jharkhand. Kejriwal's arrest will have national implications. And it comes also, don't forget, Rahul, on a day where the Congress party has gone public claiming its accounts have been frozen. It comes on a day when the electoral bond list has come out and as I go through it, matching the numbers would have taken 24 hours. All of this raises the question, with the election just a couple of weeks away, if opposition leaders are going to be arrested, including national figures like this, what kind of uh, election are we going ahead and, into and when the opposition two, will claim they have one hand tied behind their back. And typically two things can happen when opposition leaders get arrested. One, it could crush the will of the opposition to fight. Or B, Rajdeep, it can generate public sympathy. We've seen in the past in India and elsewhere, uh, when opposition leaders are uh, attacked or arrested and the public mood suggests that that's being done unfairly, uh, then it can boomerang on the government. So the question then becomes, how does the Indian voter perceive this arrest? On the basis of the fact that he's, he's skipped multiple summons, eight plus summons. So it's not as if he's bring, being the krantikari he was while in opposition saying, I will present myself. Agar kuch galat nahi kiya tare. He's someone who's basically trying to avoid the enforcement directorate's questioning, which is why it's come to what it has. And therefore, a lot of it now depends on how this plays out in the eye of public opinion. Before I say how it plays out in the uh, eye of public opinion, how does it play out in the eye of legal opinion? What is, it's very clear, Rahul, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act is a draconian provision when it comes to getting bail. It is for the person who is accused to prove that he deserves to be, uh, uh, deserves his liberty. So the onus has been reversed under the PMLA and the Supreme Court is reviewing the act at the moment. But in the absence of that review having been completed, it is very difficult once you are arrested under PMLA to get bail for 6 to 12 months. We've seen with other members of, uh, of Arvind Kejriwal's Aam Aadmi Party, Sanjay Singh, Mani Sisodia, Satyendra Jain, none of them have got relief from the courts. That may not necessarily always be because of uh, what the ED has against you, but just the very nature of this act. It is the most draconian provision that you can imagine. And therefore, once you're arrested under it, you will go to the court, you will be denied bail. And therefore, the public opinion now that you speak of, people will say, oh, you went to the court, but you're, the court hasn't given you bail, you must be guilty. So, Mr., you know, the entire system in a way has been, dare I say, uh, managed through the PMLA to ensure that once you're arrested under it, Impossible to get bail. No, but remember, this PMLA is an is an act that Chidamnam came up with. So it's not something that this government has created. No, no, it's an act that now we must correct that. The PMLA 2003 was passed by Parliament when Mr. Vajpayee was Prime Minister because the Financial Action Task Force wanted India to be a signatory to see money laundering as part of a larger uh, 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 a larger uh, fight against drug uh, trafficking. In 2005, when the UPA was in power, Mr. Chidambaram notified it, claiming that uh, if we didn't notify it, we would be out of FATF, the Financial Action Task Force. Then amendments were brought in. 
about nine amendments have been brought in and what have they done rahul and any businessman who has faced pmla will tell you they widened the scope of what constitutes a scheduled offense and what is the nature of a scheduled offense if you have a criminal act that you are being investigated against sure. you but i have a property deal with you i can be arrested indirectly on the grounds that this could be possibly proceeds of crime now i'm not saying any of this is in kejriwal's case i'm just giving you how wide the ambit of pmla no, sure. is so and because of this wide ambit rahul once you are arrested under pmla and the the more draconian amendments came in 2017 18 and what they've done is made it almost impossible for anyone to get bail under the so called triple test as a result you will have a situation if arvin kejriwal is picked up today rahul almost certainly for the next few months if not a year arvin kejriwal will be behind bars and then we will have to see how does that play out in terms of what it does to the aam aadmi party what it does to the politics of delhi but more significantly what does it do to the india alliance now on the eve of a major general election okay so i want to talk our viewers through the images that you're seeing on your screen these are right outside the delhi chief minister's residence a massive deployment of the rapid action force has taken place because uh, the local administration sensing trouble up cadre being asked to mobilize come towards the chief minister's residence obviously uh, the aap trying to turn this into some kind of a show of strength and wanting to demonstrate that they have public sympathy and therefore they have asked their cadre to come out uh, the delhi administration trying to ward off against them against this the local police being deployed on the ground we are also learning that the aam aadmi party is trying to go to the supreme court at this late hour nalini uh, sharma heads a legal bureau law today nalini can the advocates of the aam aadmi party i'm told that abhishek singhvi is being consulted can they go to the supreme court it's 5 minutes past 8 this evening ask uh, for the supreme court to convene an urgent hearing uh, what are the provisions what are you picking up nalini sharma who is that they've already approached the supreme court they filed their petition before the top court challenging the delhi high court order that had today denied relief to the delhi chief minister at the same time they are also trying to make an urgent request for hearing before the secretary general of the supreme court uh, the registrar general i beg your pardon of the supreme court to try and get the matter listed tonight if possible for an urgent hearing the reason for that is because arvind kejriwal's lawyers for the past two days have been crying force before the delhi high court that they are apprehending arrest in this matter and they know that as soon as arvind kejriwal appears for questioning before the ed he is going to be put under arrest by the probe agency and that's exactly what is happening right now that's exactly what they are fearing will happen at the end of this questioning which is why they are trying to get the matter listed tonight itself if possible but that is a call that the registrar general will take and if required he will Placed before the designated bench or the chief justice of India. Now, so in case, it, whether they can meet, it's happened on occasions in the past. We're not sure if it will happen again. But that's their appeal that our liberty is being denied. I'm the chief minister, therefore, co hold an urgent hearing. This is the problem. In September of 2023, if you recall, 14 parties and Abhishek Manu Singhvi was the lawyer there. Went to the Supreme Court, calling for an urgent review of the PMLA, claiming that it was being used to single out opposition leaders. 95% of the cases, 125 cases between 2014 and 2024, 95% of those involving politicians, 125 cases. have been against opposition leaders what did the court say court said there are no special privileges that you have and justice chandrachud was heading that bench that you have because you're a politician that if an ordinary citizen let's assume there's a businessman tomorrow who's picked up at 9 o'clock in the night he can't go and knock the doors of the supreme court at midnight can a politician therefore get the benefits that a, a corporate cannot the court in that judgment when 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 uh, uh, singhvi sought relief said come on individual Uh, told singhvi if there is an individual case where you can prove that clearly justice has been overreached then come to us but otherwise don't come to I us i want to go across to munish uh, pande first let's listen to saurabh bhardwaj senior leader of the aam aadmi party and then i'll go across to munish aur jis tarike se yahan pe development ho raha hai aisa pratit ho raha hai ki unko turant jo hai ed giraftar karke le jana chah rahi hai halaki shuru mein ye kaha ja raha tha ki sirf samman dene aaye hain मगर मुझे लगता है कि ये बात झूठ है सम्मान देने का सिर्फ एक बहाना है अंदर सर्च चल रही है मुख्यमंत्री जी के और उनके ऑफिस के लोगों के पास फोन का एक्सेस नहीं है बिना फोन के हैं और अंदर सर्च ऑपरेशन जो है ईडी का चल रहा है वो सही है गलत है मगर अरेस्ट करने की तैयारी अब पूरी तरीके से 
देखी जा सकती है जितना डर अरविंद केजरीवाल को आज भारत की सत्ता को से लग रहा है भारत की सत्ता को लग रहा है अरविंद जी से लग रहा है ये बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और ये एक अत्याचार है ये एक छोटी सी पार्टी जो अभी आई उसको कुचलने की उसको ख़त्म करने की पूरी केंद्र सरकार अपनी पूरी ताकत से उनको ख़त्म करने की कोशिश कर रही है मैं फिर ये कहूँगा अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार आप कर लोगे मगर उनकी सोच को आप गिरफ्तार नहीं कर पाओगे जितना अत्याचार करोगे उनकी सोच उतनी ज़्यादा गली गली मोहल्ले मोहल्ले में फैलेगी Arab Bardhwaj nobody in our network understands the minds of uh, the ED investigators quite in the way that Munish Pandey does he tracks the investigating agencies for us Munish you've been speaking to multiple officers involved in this case what are they telling you is Kejriwal going to be arrested tonight Well after speaking to multiple sources within the enforcement directorate Rahul what I can confirm at this point of time is that there is a high possibility that Arvind Kejriwal will be placed under arrest tonight now I spoke to multiple sources within the ED two things are happening at this point of time one there is a search which has been carried out by the enforcement directorate at the residence of Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal and at the very same time Rahul his statement is also being recorded under section 50 of prevention of money laundering act now why ed decided to go uh, this evening to Arvind Kejriwal's residence because uh, earlier also he was summoned for nine times now what ed sources have told us that uh, when the matter was heard before the high court the the ed made this submission and all the evidences based on which the ed was asking arvind kejriwal to appear even the high court judge according to ed officials was satisfied that arvind kejriwal should not be given any protection and if ed wants to move ahead um, to arrest arvind kejriwal or even to take any coercive action they are free to do that and that is when ed decided that this is a time when they can conduct searches so two things will happen one the search will complete and second after recording this statement hey, Dave, Munish, Rahul, frankly going back several weeks uh, kejriwal has been saying virtually every day and his party has been saying aaj arrest hoga ab arrest hoga kal arrest hoga they've been anticipating this for a very long time why is it that the enforcement director to speak this time because apart from that hearing in the high court materially nothing else really has changed they could have done this any time there was no bar on his arrest why now why well, rahul well rahul i remember arvind kejriwal is being summoned since november last year nine summons have been issued every time he was given opportunity by the enforcement director to appear and record his statement but he never appeared in the meanwhile ed was investigating this case there are at least 6 to 7 material evidence according to ed which points out towards a uh, possible involvement of arvind kejriwal in the 100 crore rupees of bribery and ed has mentioned these things not only in the charge sheet but also in the remand copy which was recently filed uh, stay with me for a moment muni shamit bardwaj a colleague is on the ground at the chief minister's residence he's walking around the streets there trying to capture what's happening around him i want to listen to what amit is saying right now amit bardwaj there explaining what's happening at the residence of the delhi chief minister at this moment where a massive deployment of the raf has taken place uh, they are anticipating that kejri while supporters will come towards the delhi chief minister resident to ensure that there is no trouble they're trying to ward them off by creating these barricades के तहत जो कम्युनिकेशन लाइंस होते हैं उसको चोक किया जाता है और यही वजह है कि सौरभ भारद्वाज की तरफ से वो दावा किया जा रहा था कि वो अरविंद केजरीवाल से बात करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं बात नहीं हो रही है और आम आदमी पार्टी के जो तमाम नेता हैं विधायक हैं वो इस वक्त मुख्यमंत्री के घर के पास पहुंचे हुए और दिल्ली असेंबली के स्पीकर राम गोयल अंजना दिल्ली असेंबली के सिर्फ विधायक ही नहीं दिल्ली विधानसभा के स्पीकर भी इस वक्त खुद अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर पहुंचे हुए हैं ये अपने आप में बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग तस्वीर है क्योंकि पार्टी के विधायकों का इकट्ठा होना एक बात होता है और विधानसभा के अध्यक्ष का पहुंचना ये दूसरी बात तस्वीरों में आप देखिए कि पूरे इलाके में लगातार आपको विजुअल्स दिखा रहे हैं आप, आप, हमारे वीडियो सहयोगी कि क्या तस्वीरें यहाँ पे बन रही है विधायक आम आदमी पार्टी के समर्थक मंत्री ये बड़ी तादाद में यहाँ पे जुटना शुरू हो चुके हैं और उसके साथ साथ उसकी यही वजह है कि यहाँ पे पूरी तरह से बैरिकेडिंग की गई है जो फोर्सेस हैं रामनिवास गोयल से ही पूछते हैं सीधे सीधे सर अरविंद केजरीवाल को इस वक्त 
तस्वीरें भी हम आपको लगातार दिखाते रहेंगे कि यहाँ पे आखिरकार क्या डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है कुल मिला के अंजना जो हम तस्वीर ग्राउंड पे देख पा रहे हैं जिस तरह की तैयारी दिल्ली पुलिस की दिख रही है पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स की दिख रही है तो ये साफ इंडिकेशन है कि इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट ने पहले ही इंडिकेट कर दिया था कि आखिरकार ईडी किस मंशा से यहाँ पे आ रही है ये स्पष्ट था कि इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट यहाँ पे सर्च और राम निवास गोयल स्पीकर है दिल्ली असेंबली के आप आप यहाँ पे खुद पहुंचे हुए मुख्यमंत्री की आवास में आमतौर पे देखा जाता है प्रोटोकॉल के तहत विधानसभा के स्पीकर ऐसे मौकों पे नहीं होते ग्राउंड पे सड़क पे रोम जलता रहा नीरू बांसुरी बजाता रहा पार्टी जलती रहे और मैं बैठा रहा हूं प्रोटोकॉल का ध्यान रखू ये संभव नहीं है मेरे कहीं ऐसा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में नहीं लिखा है कि मैं जा नहीं सकता भी डर सता रहा है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी हो सकती है नहीं हो सकती है कोई बड़ी बात नहीं आप देखिए ना कितना काफिला फोर्स का है किस लिए किस लिए आया इतनी से बात और ये पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स ये सब जो आई हैं ये क्यों आए नहीं मैं आया जब मुझे पता लगा गेट बंद थे गेट बंद कर दिया अंदर अध्यक्ष को भी रोका गया है अंदर बिल्कुल हम जो बात करा रहे थे विधानसभा अध्यक्ष हैं दिल्ली विधानसभा के अध्यक्ष हैं वो कह रहे हैं कि प्रोटोकॉल का इसलिए ख्याल नहीं रखा जा रहा है क्योंकि जिस तरह की स्थिति दिल्ली में उत्पन्न हुई है उनके पास कोई ऑप्शन नहीं था हम और भी आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं से लगातार बात करते हुए आपको जो रिएक्शन है उनकी तरफ से वो दिखाएंगे लेकिन एक बार फिर से सिक्योरिटी अमित भारद्वाज रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम राइट आउटसाइड द चीफ मिनिस्टर रेजेंस माई कुलग प्रीति चौधरी ट्रैक्स दी आम आदमी पार्टी फॉर अस एज हॉटलाइन इन साइड द चीफ मिनिस्टर रेजन वी बिंग टोल्ड फोन बीन टेकन अवे द चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड his family would be feeling pretty disconnected with the outside world at the moment but well, they've been told at least what what we've been given to understand rahul that it's protocol there's a search in uh, you know operation which is going on so not just the uh, immediate family uh, what we did know is that his parents his two children his wife sunita kejriwal are in there so their phones have been taken away even the so staff. once and if he gets arrested who becomes the chief minister will he run you know he's been very clear jail? you know he's been very clear that uh, once and if at all arvind kejriwal goes to jail uh, he is going to approach the top court where he can run his office from uh, jail but uh, there is a plan b and this is something that hasn't quite come out as a surprise for the aam aadmi party who is uh, plan b no there is a th- there is a larger plan b because if it's arvin kejriwal arvin kejriwal is plan a b and c so arvin kejriwal runs his office who is most likely rajdeep to be the next chief minister if he gets arrested and if he can't run it from jail because no, remember they never wanted uh, for some of their arrested mla's ministers to be sacked it ultimately became untenable so they will at some point in time start need to start need to start atishi is already doing the job so if you look at it atishi already has taken all the portfolios of manish sisodia she is already doing the job where arvind kejriwal now is looking to campaign uh, on a lok sabha level across the country so atishi is would taking... atishi be the most logical choice if he is arrested you i think it is untenable for him to continue as chief minister especially given all the moral yeah, no, crusade it, that he's done in the past it's not just the moral crusade it is just impractical you can not run a government sitting in jail it's not happened before even lalu you will recall had to make rabri devi the chief minister when it happened in bihar so uh, heman soren had to make uh, 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 someone else the chief minister you will also therefore have a situation where mr kejriwal will have to appoint or anoint someone who will have to be de facto and de jure the chief in a de facto but, mr kejriwal could control it from jail that's but, possible but de jure someone will have okay, to be okay now let me tell you what is part minister. of the plan b plan b part is that if there is an arrest immediately Abhishek Manu Singh we and the legal team of the Aam Aadmi Party is going to move the top court and ask that uh, the chief minister run his office from jail so that's going to be the next legal move after and if at all Arvind Kejriwal is arrested but that's fraud no, but that won't happen no no one no, minute, I, one minute. Just, yeah. you know the laws of this country are very clear you see the, the these measures that may be taken saying extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures now you are absolutely right the fact that arvind kejriwal particularly over the years has projected himself as an anti corruption crusader if he is to be jailed and then says no no i am going to run my government from jail i will continue as chief minister then the optics go against him arvind kejriwal wants to garner sympathy the one thing he is is a clever politician A clever, no, politician. a clever politician wouldn't be evading so many ED summons. No, no, no. How does it help his case? If if this is Because about public sympathy, he should have gone and presented himself before the enforcement director on day one by trying to run away from these ED summons. He comes across looking weak. No, because Rahul, the fact is the very nature. I come back to it of the PMLA, the Prevention of Money Laundering no, Act. Then, then you are such... talking about moral opinion and what's happening in the public eye. Mm-hmm. Then you are evading enforcement director summons. Yes. Which person who wants to be Mahatma Gandhi evades the ED summons? You should say, okay, come. I've done nothing wrong. Here I, I am. Question me. I think he was hopeful that he would get some relief from the court 
on the issue of summons, which is why you see he's gone repeatedly to court. The point I'm making, uh, Rahul, A, I don't think he can run the government from jail. At least de jure he can't. De facto what he does is another matter. But it is my view that Mr. Kejriwal is a slightly more canny operator in politics than many other leaders who've gone to jail in the past. He will use every opportunity to garner sympathy. Whether that sympathy comes or not is another matter. You're quite right. Because he's evaded summon, the government will say, law is taking its own cause, like they've said with the Congress. And they were very patient. They gave him multiple options so they, to so come and present himself when he tried to run away each time, not see, come in front of the ED. You see, I think, if I may be allowed to use the analogy of the 1975 emergency, Indira Gandhi did it in a ham-handed manner when she went across the board arresting journalists, arresting politicians. No, the mayor of the Delhi is speaking at this time. Shelly O'Brien, let's listen to her for a moment. Manali Mukhe Mantri Arvind Kejriwal Ji ke nivaas ke andar hai aur sir jari hai. Mein aapko batana chaati hoon, bar puri paramedic force laga di gai hai, itni police laga di gai hai aur police aane se rok rahi hai. Mujhe lagta hai, ek Dilli, Razdhani Dilli ke CM ke nivaas ke bar ये सब चीज हो रही है पुलिस लगाना कोई ऐसी चीज या दिल्ली की जनता का जो प्यार है दिल्ली की जनता का जो आशीर्वाद है वो माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के साथ बना हुआ है दिल्ली में दिल्ली की जनता जानती है कि जो केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार किया जा सकता है पर उनके विचारों को गिरफ्तार नहीं किया जा सकता जो उनकी काम की राजनीति है उनको नहीं रोका जा सकता बट मैम समन्स के वेरी वेरी क्लियर एंड कैटेगोरिकली हाईकोर्ट ऑफ टू से टू अमित भारद्वाज अमित भारद्वाज इज एट द रेजिडेंस ऑफ द डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर आतिशी स्पीकिंग ऑल्सो फॉर मोमेंट लेट्स लिसन टू सीनियर डेली कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर आतिशी टूडे ईडी इज हेयर टू अरेस्ट अरविंद केजरीवाल Why? Because Lok Sabha elections are coming, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scared of Arvind Kejriwal. Otherwise, what was the hurry? Does ED think that they are going to find piles of cash inside Arvind Kejriwal's house? Does it think that they are going to recover gold biscuits from Arvind Kejriwal's house? Do they think they are going to discover papers of shell companies inside Arvind Kejriwal's house? When for two years they have not been able to recover one rupee of proceeds of crime. The question is that Delhi High Court has not been able to get any relief from Delhi High Court. And after that, after a few hours, the police have reached the ED's authorities. First, a summons, then a warrant, then a search, and now a question. Look, this is clear that this is a case of arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Why? Because the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given the order to arrest Arvind Kejriwal. क्यों क्योंकि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अरविंद केजरीवाल से डर लगता है उन्हें पता है कि अगर कोई एक नेता उनको चैलेंज कर सकता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है वरना क्यों एडी न्यायिक प्रक्रिया खत्म होने का इंतजार नहीं कर सकती थी आज ही हाई कोर्ट ने ईडी को नोटिस भेजा है तो क्यों नहीं जवाब देते क्यों नहीं कोर्ट के डिसीजन का फैसला करते ऐसी क्या हबड़ा तबड़ी थी कि आज रात को ही आने की जरूरत थी हबड़ा तबड़ी ये है कि लोकसभा का चुनाव आने वाला है और अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल निकलकर आम आदमी पार्टी के कैंडिडेट्स के लिए इंडिया अलायंस के लिए कैंपेन करेंगे तो वो नरेंद्र मोदी जी के सामने एक चैलेंजर है इसलिए हम आपसे कंफर्मेशन चाह रहे हैं हमें सुनने में आ रहा है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट आप लोग पहुंच चुके हैं अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अर्जी लेके गए इमीडिएट हियरिंग के लिए इस पूरे मामले बिल्कुल हमने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अर्जी डाली है मेरा मानना है कि शायद इसी समय के आसपास वो अर्जी फाइल भी हो गई होगी स्वाभाविक बात है कि हम लीगल प्रोटेक्शन के लिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाएंगे लेकिन ये लड़ाई लीगल नहीं है ये लड़ाई राजनीतिक है क्योंकि अगर ये लीगल लड़ाई होती अगर ये किसी जांच से जुड़ी हुई लड़ाई होती तो दो साल में एक चवन्नी तो रिकवर हुई होती और दो साल में सैकड़ों अफसर लगाने के बाद सैकड़ों जगह रेड करने के बाद अगर एक रुपया नहीं मिलता तो रात के नौ बजे हबड़ा तबड़ी में एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर के घर आने की क्या जरूरत है सीकिंग प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम सुप्रीम कोर्ट राइट नाउ यस एंड वॉट इज द्ली बिकॉज द डेली हाई कोर्ट हैज रिजेक्टेड द ग्राउंड दैट यू दैट वो आर्ग्यूड बाई यू इन द कोर्ट See, I think those exact details the legal team would have, but yes, we are moving the Supreme Court. MLAs are expected to come here. All people from across Delhi are expected to come here. The people of Delhi love Arvind Kejriwal. The people of Delhi regard Arvind Kejriwal as their son and their brother because he has changed their lives, and that is the reason why Narendra Modi is scared of Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Pan has also made out a very ex explosive tweet right now supporting Arvind Kejriwal. So, are we to expect that the uh, mobilisation will be done not only in the national capital but across the NCR? Not just in NCR, across the country. People love Arvind Kejriwal. People admire Arvind Kejriwal. 
और मैं बीजेपी को यह भी बता दूं कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है वो एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को जेल में डालेंगे हजारों अरविंद केजरीवाल खड़े हो जाएंगे इस देश के संविधान को बचाने के लिए आतिशी राइट देव वो स्पीकिंग टू अस एक्सक्लूसिवली आतिशी मालेना द कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ द आम आदमी पार्टी आतिशी दे टॉकिंग अबाउट uh they plan to move the supreme court vishwajit bhattacharya joins us he is a senior advocate in the supreme court mr bhattacharya welcome uh, this idea that uh, the aam aadmi party is working on to move the supreme court tonight do you think it has merit will the supreme court likely convene a hearing tonight or will they just dismiss and say come in the morning well i in my considered view supreme court is not likely to uh sort of intervene at this stage what are the grounds for going to the supreme court right now under which uh, parts of the law will they go and why do you think the supreme court is likely to turn them down you see today it a matter came up before a division bench of the high court of delhi and high court of delhi has already issued a notice the matter has been fixed on 22nd of april so therefore when a court has issued notice on that very day Uh, against an issuance and notice, a special leave petition is prima facie not maintainable in my view, and it is also rather extraordinary when show cause notice has been issued to enforcement directorate on that very day instead of responding to the show cause notice to reach the residence of the chief minister. That also is not quite correctly advised, if I may say so, with the greatest of respect. Uh, enforcement directorate should answer to the notice. You see, the next date is given. They have been given, I think, three weeks' time. They should immediately file a reply tomorrow and press press for an early hearing. There no, but no the need. court also said that there is no bar on Kejriwal's arrest. While they did issue that show, because they also said see, that there is no bar on his arrest. Anybody can be arrested. I can be arrested. You can be arrested. Enforcement directorate's power, police's power, arrest without warrant is unquestioned in India. I mean, a court doesn't have to say that you can be arrested. Even Prime Minister can be can be arrested. So, so let arrest, uh, Ajay Alok of the BJP respond to this. When a show cause is being issued, at that time to go and arrest or to go with this big security paraphernalia, uh, setting the stage for the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, Bishwajit Bhattacharya argues is not the right thing to do. The optics aren't right. Ajay Alok. On that very day. On that very well, day. I don't uh, look at the optics. Rather, I'll just re- like to recall you that for the last three years. When Sishodia was not arrested, Arvind Kejriwal used to say Sishodia को arrest कर लेंगे, 24-25 को arrest कर लेंगे, एक महीने के अंत तक Sishodia को arrest कर लेंगे, he got arrested. Satyendra Jain को arrest कर लेंगे, he got arrested. For the last six months, the same Atishi, she was saying Arvind Kejriwal is going to be arrested. Arvind Kejriwal is going to be arrested. Nine summons, come on, not one summon, nine summons. Can me, you, Rahul, or for uh, Rajdeep, if we get a summon? I went as a normal citizen of this country, not holding on any constitutional post. Won't we respond to the summon immediately, whether you like it or not? And then we should have moved to the court. He didn't do it. That's a very good point you're making, and, and I want to put that question to Akshay Marathi because that's where, if this battle is about winning public sympathy, that's where Kejriwal well, and AAP lose the plot, Akshay Marathi. Because when the first summon came, Kejriwal should have presented himself. Answered the summons and done what any rightful, law-abiding citizen would do by trying to avoid nine straight summons. You know, it just you just look at that action and you wonder, Dal me kya kala hai? What's going on? Why can't the chief minister, just like any human being, just like any one, when he was in opposition, present himself and answer the ED's questions? What's he running away from, Akshay Marathi? Can I have ten seconds? Now, allow me. I'm coming back to you, Ajay. I'm coming back to you in a moment, Akshay Marathi. Allow me two minutes to respond. Point number one: This issue is not about the liquor scam. This issue is about our democracy being under threat. Arvind Kejriwal ji is one of India's biggest opposition leaders today, and two months before the Lok Sabha election, he is being arrested on live television. We are discussing it, but not a single word has been spoken about how is it right. For the national government to arrest an opposition leader just two months before an election. No, but he's facing a court. He's Russia. facing a case in court. One second, Akshay Marathi is facing a case in court. He needs to answer to the charges that have been leveled against him. What does this have to do with the election? Let me let me finish my point. This court case has been this this entire matter has been going on for the last two years. But only two months before the election, they have the ability to arrest the chief minister of Delhi. Is that not suspicious? You are saying dal me kuch kala hai, puri to puri puri dali kali hai yahan par. If this was happening in Russia, this were happening in any autocratic country, okay. we would say let that. Let Ajay Alok respond to this. You know, one of course is that it's a court a case, and he has to answer. The other is this happens in Russia uh, with Putin as well. 
if you're an opponent, something wrong happens with you, get arrested, you end up in Serbia, the likes of Akshay Marathi and the Congress will say India is heading down that direction and you're doing the same thing. Of course, Putin also has some legal case, which is why opposition leaders are arrested. It's not as if there's no case, but it all seems awkward and fishy. Yeah, the, the, same, the same point was echoed by Mr. Kharge three, four days back. Today, two wonderful things happened in this Indian political system. Two wonderful things. First, there was a press conference by the Congress party in which they claimed that their account has been frozen and democracy is under threat. Very good. If somebody account is frozen by the income tax, Indian democracy comes under threat. Biggest question. Second point. So, but you That's gave a notice for something that happened in 94. <laughs> That's the point <laughs> the Congress made in the press conference for an yeah, action, yeah. no matter right, wrong, ugly, good, bad. The action I'm, happened in 1994 and they've been given I'm, notice for I'm, that. I'm coming to that. The second thing happened that Arvind Kejriwal moved to the court. Look, I'm getting these summons. I have written to them that why they want, why they are sending me summons, but they are still sending me summons. And I apprehend my uh, arrest, so kindly give me immunity from arrest. Well, both, are th both things are above the law. You are talking of constitution, you are talking of saving the democracy, and you are not following the constitution. What does the constitution say? It says that when the income tax case is going with you for the last, since 1992, 1995, 2018, you have lost the case in high court. You have lost the case in appellate. You should file the penalty and you should file everything. Otherwise, income tax has the right to just collect it and to freeze your accounts. That's what income tax has done. You can move to the court immediately, say, citing elections. You didn't do that. You chose to do a okay. conflict. You're conflating two separate no, issues. I don't want to confuse our viewers. Can Let's I, stick to it one by one. We're on the issue right now of Arvind Kejriwal's imminent arrest. Akshay Marathe skipping summons. You know, that's why AAP, which has been a master at trying to win over public sympathy, begins to lose the plot because nine times over, the Delhi chief minister skipped a summon and everyone who's watching is wondering, why is he skipping summons? Why can't he go and answer to the law? Rahul, Rahul, the only people who are wondering what you are saying are the people who believe the enforcement directorate is an independent body. The majority of this country is aware that the enforcement directorate is an extortion department of the Bharati Janta Party. It is not an independent investigative body. For the last two years, this case has been going. Even till today, they have not said Arvind Kejriwal is an accused. They have not presented a single piece of evidence against Arvind Kejriwal. Today in the High Court, when the ED's lawyer was asked by the justice that what is the evidence you have against Mr. Kejriwal, they had no answers to give. How can we take such an ED seriously? How can we believe in the credibility of this agency? They might send 100 summons, 500 summons. What is the what is the point of these summons if this body has become a political wing of the Bharatiya Janata Party to okay. go after its opponents and destroy opposition parties right before an election? Stay that with me. One issue. of the country's senior most okay. lawyers, Vikas Singh, senior advocate in the Supreme Court, now joins me on this broadcast. Mr. Singh, welcome. Can... Abhishek Singhvi and the Amadmi Party go to the Supreme Court Registry tonight and ask for an urgent hearing that I'm being arrested, my personal liberty is at stake, I'm an opposition leader, chief minister, and this is being done because elections are around the corner and I'm being treated unfairly. Is there an adequate case for Amadmi Party to go to the Supreme Court tonight? Vikas Singh. So Rahul, uh, ordinarily uh, in a situation of this kind, Supreme Court could have granted indulgence. But in a case of uh, the, in the facts of this case, you know, when you've been summoned eight times and you don't uh, ultimately, Rahul, we have to realize we are governed by the rule of law. And when we say rule of law, we mean that whatever be the position, the law has to be obeyed. Everybody has to obey the law. So if there are summons and if you feel there are completely flimsy summons or if you feel that there is no case absolutely against you, go to a court of law and get those summons quashed. You are not doing that also. You are only wanting to make political capital out of your arrest by, you know, avoiding these summons. Nobody, nobody on this, in this country can say that there is a summon, I refuse to obey the summon. Or I feel that this summon is unjustified. Because that is actually striking at the very concept of rule The of other law. point that Bishwajit Bhattacharya made before you came in, Vikas Singh, is that at a time when the enforcement director has been given a notice, which they have to respond to before the next hearing, which is on the 22nd of April, for them to on that night go and arrest uh, Kejriwal, even if there is no bar on his arrest, that doesn't seem right. Will that add any weight to an AAP case uh, if they were to go tonight? No, according to me, no. I'll tell you why. Because uh, there has been another arrest uh, recently in the last two, three days of that Kavita from, 
from uh, Telangana. So let me assume, and I'm assuming this because obviously that must be the reason for ED to suddenly become so active now. So supposing there is some disclosure by her and they want to confront him with that disclosure, how do they do that? So I don't see, uh, you know, any motive being attributed to uh, this kind of a, even if there are, because ultimately um, uh, we, 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 I mean, if, if you feel that these summons are all bogus, you should have gone after the very first summon and, and got them stayed by... Why do you law. think they didn't do that? That sounds so like the most saying, logical so thing to do. The idea is to make political capital and he will get he will get a mileage out of this arrest. I'm sure he will. And uh, the country also will, you know, have sympathy towards him, which is what he's wanting. So he's wanting this arrest. He, he had gone to the agency and surrendered himself. Uh, this kind of capital he could not have got. So by this uh, momentum that he has created... It's more of a political game than a legal game as far as he's What are his realistic options before the law right now? You're saying that it's unlikely that the Supreme Court will indulge the app tonight. In the no, absence uh, of that, what are his realistic legal options? Ultimately, uh, you know, it's very difficult to second guess what the Chief Justice of India will do because I was very surprised when he listed the GMM petition, that Soren's petition the next day in Supreme Court, although it got dismissed. But uh, there was no point of listing that petition when he had already resigned as chief minister and the mention that his chief minister is being arrested was actually a wrong statement. So you're saying this is a decision that Chief Justice, for, for the view, uh, clarity of our viewers, this is a decision Chief Justice Chandrachud needs to take, correct? That's right, that's right. So he will take his this decision. In, in and he can, life. it's really up to him. He can take a decision either way. I mean, look at what's in front of him and he can actually decide both things. He can think that this is a matter which requires an urgent hearing and he could ask for one or he could send them back. That's right. That's that's how I look at it. And according to me, he should not, because this is not a case where somebody who has waited for, you know, challenging these summons for so long and disobeyed the law. So basically, you know, the rule of law is, has to be... Okay, so I if Chief Justice Chandrachud doesn't indulge them tonight, what else are AAP's legal options beyond that, Vikasi? So the AAP's legal option will be to go to the trial court and ask for bail there. Because but given the provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, that's a very long, tedious, arduous process with very little chance of success. So, so he will have to convince some court, Rahul. Either he goes to the High Court and convinces the High Court. Apparently, the High Court has also seen some something which has been handed over. Although I, this kind of a you know uh, uh, um, handing over material to a judge uh, privately, I am personally against because ultimately an accused should know what is being handed over. But many a times it is so sensitive that it can't be given at that stage. And that is why the judges indulge them. So they have already seen something, and that is why they have not granted any relief to uh, Kejriwal ex party up till now. So I don't see uh, any court, um, you know, uh, giving him something favorable unless, unless, if they feel that whatever be the material against him, his arrest may not be necessary. And these are all documentary evidence which can be confronted to him. Okay. Uh, at the time of time. Vikas Singh, thank you for joining us. Preeti, they've and been preparing for this day for a very long time. They've been thinking about it. We know on good authority that Kejriwal's been strategizing with his legal team on what to do if he gets arrested politically, legally. Uh, how are they likely to react? Because as you've just heard from Vikas Singh, Chief Justice Chandrachud indulging them, given what's happened mm -hmm. in the court and given the fact that he's evaded multiple summons, is going to be very difficult for anyone to explain. You know, Rahul, they're not expecting to get any reprieve from the Supreme Court because they know what went down with Heyman Soren. Heyman Soren challenged the ED arrest and that writ, uh, petition was rejected by the top court. So they do know the eventuality of approaching the top court is very bleak in terms of getting any reprieve for Arvind Kejriwal. But, uh, you know, that's a legal procedure that they wanted to exercise, which they will. What is plan B? Because this is not a surprise that has come up. Uh, this is something that they've always thought would happen, would be an eventuality. So therefore, there has been a plan of action in case the CM gets arrested, then what? One of them was what we are seeing right now on our television screens, Rahul, which is the cadre of the Aam Aadmi Party, the top leadership, make its way to the chief minister's residence or wherever, if he was uh, you know, in office or at his residence where he'd caught or get arrested, if that arrest actually takes place. The second point being what we can expect in the next 24 hours is multiple protests across the national capital. Punjab, you will see Bhagwant Man, the Punjab chief minister, hold a press conference very shortly from now. And then you'll see multiple protests taking place in Punjab as well. What you will see, the fallback of the Haryana unit in Haryana protest there. What we are also being given to understand, Bhagwant Man now will uh, take charge and become the emissary to coordinate with now, the Indian Now the Alliance. risk over there, and I want Ajay Alok and Akshay Marathi to respond. The risk, one is what happens legally. The risk is politically 
you end up making Arvind Kejriwal a martyr, the opposition which wasn't really able to get its act together, gets a fillip because Kejriwal frankly gets some kind of sympathy because no matter where they stand politically, uh, many people who are largely neutral may feel you know, and wonder whether he's being targeted. So that's a big risk you're running in election season, Ajay Alok. No, Rahul, I don't think uh, we think like that and we run the risk. This is a different India. This is not the India of the 90s when Lalu got arrested and he got the sympathy when he made Ravi Devi a, minister, a chief minister on, on his face. This is not going to happen now. People are much more aware. No midnight hearing. It will be done tomorrow in Supreme Court. The village, they are connected with the mobile and they get all the information. Everybody in this country knows that he has evaded nine summons. And that nine summons belongs to only one case. That is, my, that is this uh, liquor, liquor case. There are summons in different cases, other cases also. There is a Jal Board case. There is a Sheesh Mahal case. There's a multiple cases going around. Him. So it's not the same. And we are not scared. The Prime Minister has himself said that I'm not going to tolerate corruption at all. I'm going to take all evasive actions, whatever possible. Poll or no poll. It's not the Prime Minister's cup of tea or neither the BJP cup of tea. Let the law take its own course. And look at the anarchist mindset of this party. Have you ever seen, ever, even during Lalu's time, Jangal Raj in Bihar, that the Speaker coming out and standing in front of the Chief Minister's gate and he says that, no, I can't see when my, when my party is burning. Look at the anarchist state of mind that this party has. They don't have any, they sh he should resign immediately. They don't have any moral okay. right to... So I want to go across to Amit Bhardavaj, who's outside the Chief Minister's residence. He's speaking to some of the supporters who've gathered over there. I'm told that Section 144, which forbids the gathering of more than four people, has been imposed outside the ED office, which is where Kejriwal is likely to be taken if and when he does get arrested. So let's listen to the AAP supporters who've gathered outside the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. <laughs> देखिए जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो बहुत पुख्ता किए गए हैं दो रास्ते हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर से जो 
ईडी के दफ्तर के लिए जाएगा मैं जिस जगह पे खड़ा हूँ यहाँ पे बैरिकेड्स को नहीं मूव किया गया है यहाँ बैरिकेड्स इंटैक्ट है यहाँ नारेबाजी हो रही है यही वो चोर है जहाँ पे बड़ी संख्या में आम आदमी पार्टी के जो समर्थक है विधायक है वो इकट्ठा हो रहे हैं नारेबाजी कर रहे हैं तो इस छोर पे तो पूरी तरह से जो बैरिकेड है वो सील है यहाँ फिलहाल गाड़ियों की मूवमेंट होती हुई दिखाई नहीं दे रही है लेकिन दूसरे एंड से क्या अरविंद केजरीवाल को पूछताछ के बाद निकाला जा सकता है और ईडी ऑफिस ले जाने के लिए अब कोशिश हो सकती है तो इसका मतलब ये भी होगा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल के लिए मुश्किलें बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ती हुई दिखाई देंगी क्योंकि एक बार ईडी दफ्तर गए अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल गए तो ऐसी स्थिति में वो होने की संभावना और भी ज्यादा बढ़ जाएगी जिसका डर आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता जी That's uh, Amit Bardwaj reporting uh, from the Chief Minister's residence. Preeti is hearing from the Aam Aadmi Party that they uh, probably will not get a hearing tonight. And the Supreme Court, Preeti? Yeah, you know, what, what I'm hearing in uh, Rahul is that uh, it'll happen tomorrow morning. Now there will be no midnight hearing of sorts uh, where the Supreme Court is concerned. I want to go across to Aishwarya Paliwal. She's at the Enforcement Directorate Office where Section 144 is being imposed. Aishwarya. Uh, we're seeing frenetic activity at the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. Describe to our viewers what you are seeing and the preparations at the office of the Enforcement Directorate. Aishwarya Palibar. But Rahul, let me tell you, the barricades have been put up close to 200 meters from where the Enforcement Directorate offices are. I'll be moving aside to show you that this entire stretch has been barricaded. Delhi police personnel, you see there, and from what we understand, more Delhi police personnel will be reaching the spot in just a couple of minutes from now. So this entire area, 144, has been imposed. Clear instructions have been given to people not to be using this route. The barricades have been put up here. The actual Enforcement Directorate office is barely 100 meters from where I'm standing, Rahul, and the anticipation. Suspicion here is pretty high. Everyone is anticipating that. Yes, see, supporters of the Aam Aadmi Party also trying to reach the Enforcement Directorate office in just a couple of minutes from now. In that anticipation, the barricades have already been put up. Rahul. Okay, thanks, uh, Aishwarya. We'll come back to you for more later. They've got a big uh, presence of AAP supporters at the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. Uh, their uh, chanting slogans. We saw a lot of this during the. A uh, period when the Aam Aadmi Party was a nascent political idea. They've kind of settled down while once in governance, not doing this kind of dhannebazi. They're up to it again. Let's listen to Amit Bhardwaj as he walks across uh, and speaks to some of the people who are the residents of the Delhi Chief Minister. <laughs> आप देखें कि किस तरह से जो दूसरा गेट है यानी जिस गेट से एंट्री की जा सकती है उस गेट से दरअसल अब डिटेल किए जा रहे हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के तमाम कार्यकर्ता और विधायक लेकिन आ... इस वक्त जो नारेबाजी है वो लगातार कार्यकर्ताओं की तरफ से बढ़ता जा रहा है और लगातार जो मंत्री हैं, विधायक हैं, वो बड़ी संख्या में आपको यहाँ पे दिखाई देंगे और राजकुमार आनंद जो दिल्ली सरकार के मंत्री हैं, वो भी यहाँ पहुंचे हुए आतिश जी सौरभ भारद्वाज पहले से ही यहाँ पे मौजूद थे और राम निवास गोयल जो दिल्ली असेंबली के स्पीकर है वो खुद मौजूद है प्रोटोकॉल को तोड़ते हुए राम निवास गोयल दिल्ली के स्पीकर होने के बावजूद पहुंचे हैं यहां पे उनसे हम सीधे सवाल लेने की कोशिश करेंगे लेकिन इमरान हुसैन जो पार्टी के वरिष्ठ नेताओं में से एक हैं मंत्री भी हैं उनसे भी ये सीधा सवाल ले लेते हैं अंजना कि आखिरकार क्या रणनीति होने वाली है आम आदमी पार्टी की क्या दिल्ली में मुख्यमंत्री का चेहरा बदलेगा या फिर अरविंद केजरीवाल जेल से ही सरकार चलाते हुए दिखाई देंगे ये सबसे बड़ा सवाल इस वक्त बना हुआ है जना और देख के तो यही लगता है कि सरकार में तब्दीली नहीं होगी क्योंकि एक बड़ा कैंपेन आम आदमी पार्टी ने ग्राउंड पे चलाया था डोर टू डोर कैंपेन ये चला था और इसमें सवाल यही था दिल्ली की जनता की तरफ से दिल्ली की जनता से इमरान लिसन टू समीडर्स डिटेन एंड टेकन अवे इन दीज बस वी कैन गेट दैट ऑडियो लेट्स लिसन टू दी आप लीडर्स डिटेन एंड टेकन अवे बसों में भरा जाता है और उसके बाद इन्हें दूर कहीं ले जाया जा रहा है साफ तौर पर यह बीजेपी के खिलाफ विरोध करते हुए दिख रहे हैं Up leaders being detained, taken away. 
Uh, Ajay Alok, Aam Admi Party trying to whip up public support and sympathy. Uh, they've done it uh, masterfully in the past, which is also how their uh, political movement became, uh, came to power in Delhi and in Punjab. What makes you confident that this will actually pay electoral dividend for you? Because potentially this can backfire as well, where the government comes across as having taken this action and up and the opposition gets sympathy and it could also unite the opposition more than they've been united so far. I don't think the people of this country are so naive that they don't understand that the fight against corruption is on. And don't forget, the last 10 years up and today's up, is a desert. There's no comparison. And the peeling off has already started. And right now what they're seeing that one after the other scam, one after the other scam, they are getting involved. And they are getting involved to the extent that they are not getting any relief from the court. The two, two ministers are staying in the uh, in the jail. One Rasa MP in jail, not getting bail. Do you think that this, the judiciary of the country does not understand anything and the common man doesn't understand? Go and visit the streets of Delhi. There's a perception. A Lutera ho gaya. The person who uses 2 lakh rupees commode and then people of Delhi knows this. 8 lakh rupees curtains. Okay. So, my colleague Amit Bardavaj is speaking to the uh, Speaker of the Delhi Assembly. Uh, let's listen in to what uh, Ramvilas Goyal is saying because he's also just said that Kejriwal will continue as Chief Minister even if he gets arrested. We have also given him our own way. In the streets, in the streets, in the streets, So, Kejriwal Ji, the government will only go to jail. सर एक और सवाल हालांकि आपने बताया भी कि किस स्थितियों में आप प्रोटोकॉल तोड़ के यहाँ सड़क पे मौजूद हैं धारा 144 लगाई गई है डिटेंशन की बात हो रही है तो क्या ये माना जाए कि आप ये 144 के बावजूद आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं का विरोध प्रदर्शन जारी रहेगा नहीं विरोध प्रदर्शन करना हमारा हक है हमें गिरफ्तार करना कर लें जाएंगे जेल में कोई दिक्कत नहीं जेल जाने को तैयार है बिल्कुल तैयार है मैं खड़ा हूँ दिल्ली में ही सिलसिला चलेगा पंजाब में बाकी जगहों पे ये ये सिलसिला कहाँ तक चलेगा ये पार्टी निर्णय करेगी मैंने ये नहीं कहा ये कार्यकर्ता जेल जाएंगे मैंने कहा मैं जेल जाने को था विधानसभा के स्पीकर हाँ मैं जेल जाने को था अगर मुझे गिरफ्तार करते हैं मैं खड़ा हूँ कर लें गिरफ्तार मैंने ये नहीं कहा ये जाएंगे जेल मैं मेरी बात को समझिएगा मैं इनको आदेश नहीं दे सकता पार्टी जैसा आदेश देगी वो करेगी बींग ए स्पीकर मुझे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट पर हूँ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पोस्ट का पालन कर रहा है हाँ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कहीं भी ये नहीं कहता कि स्पीकर ऐसा आतंक आए पार्टी पर तो वहाँ नहीं पहुँचे तो रामनिवास गोयल को आपने दो बड़े सवालों पे सुना जना पहला सवाल वो कह रहे हैं कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन उन्हें इस तरह के प्रोटोकॉल तोड़ने से मना नहीं करता और दूसरा आ, सबसे बड़ा सवाल वो खुद कह रहे हैं कि एक रणनीति पहले से तय कर ली गई है आम आदमी पार्टी के द्वारा न केवल दिल्ली के विधायक काउंसिलर पंजाब के विधायक से लेकर देश भर के जो लीडरशिप है आम आदमी पार्टी की उन्होंने ओके सो दैट्स अमित भारद्वाज रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम द चीफ मिनिस्टर रेजिडेंस एज आई I uh, mentioned to you a short while ago that the Aam Admi Party will not be going to the Supreme Court tonight. Uh, they've understood that it's unlikely that this matter will get heard and therefore they're preparing Preeti the legal grounds to go to the Supreme Court tomorrow morning. That's what we are hearing from the Aam Admi Party. That's what they're doing. But they're not expecting anything tangible to come from the Supreme Court in terms of in case Arvind Kejriwal be arrested that they would be a reprieve. It's a legal process that they are following. What I am getting to hear no, but remember, this is also a case where uh, the Congress was on the other side of the Aam Aadmi Party. The Congress believed that there was a scam in the liquor case and therefore the Congress will find it difficult to now jump. The likes of Ajay Mark and many others mm -hmm. have actually been on the side of asking the for Congress action against The Congress has been one of the petitioners in, original petitioners in this case, Rahul. So it's always been uh, you know, a bit of a catch-22 situation for the Congress. But uh, in the India Alliance, uh, in one of those meetings there, it has been discussed. And uh, there has been ground that has been reached that the Congress will support the Aam Aadmi Party uh, where it comes down if there is an arrest. They don't want to publicly talk about the liquor policy. But if you look at it in Delhi, they're in alliance with each other. So they have to come out and campaign for each other on the seats that they're fighting in the national capital so it's a it's inevitable that we will see the congress also come out and support but this will impact their campaign in the Lok Sabha elections because uh, this is a time when you would have wanted your candidates to be out and about campaigning mm -hmm. and suddenly they're trying to defend Kejriwal legally and on the streets it's it's a big blow for the Aam Aadmi party you know it's not just your stuff it's you know I'll give you an example it's like you take away the prime minister from the BJP for the Aam Aadmi party no matter how small in comparison you know that might be Arvind Kejriwal 
the party, it's, you know, it, he's the be-all. Uh, he's their star campaigner. He's the chief minister. Many would suggest he's one of, uh, you know, the key uh, uh, troubleshooters even for the Punjab government. Uh, it's, it's known that many times uh, Bhagwant Man turns to Arvind Kejriwal for help. So all of that now uh, is, uh, you know, uh, is practically on a standstill where the Ahmadmi party is concerned. He was supposed to be one of the star campaigners for the India Alliance. Forget about what the Ahmadmi party uh, So Ajay uh, Alok, we're hearing that there is a possibility that some of the opposition leaders will actually come out to the streets and uh, protest so this could possibly coalesce the opposition alliance more tightly uh, than has been the case uh, so far but remember that's a calculation obviously Messrs Modi and Shah have made and they seem uh, willing to take that risk because they seem to think that this anti-corruption drive in fact helps them. Shriya Chatterjee covers the enforcement directorate for us. Uh, she's reporting on the story at this moment. What are your sources in the ED telling you, Shreya, about the likely timing of uh, Kejriwal's arrest? Well, you know, Rahul, right now the development outside. All the teams of Admiral Kejriwal suggest that uh, his uh, team of people, especially from the Ahmadi Party, are out on the road to protest uh, against the ED action. We talk to ED team. From the ranks of the joint director officials, they're right now questioning Arvind Kejriwal in the liquor policy camp. This was the 10th summons that was uh, given to him after the High Court refused to give him any protection. A questioning is under its way. There is a search that is also currently under its way. And from the development around, it seems like there is an imminent arrest that is probably hanging on the Delhi Chief Minister. Is why these are the kind of visuals that you right now see outside the residence of the Chief Minister, where the Ahmadi Party supporters have started gathering one by one. Okay, there's a big uh, crowd of AAP supporters. Do they intend to stay here all, the entire night? Or if and when he gets arrested, they'll go back? What's their plan? You're speaking to them. What kind of strategy have they come to the streets with? You know, uh, Rahul, what we do understand, these people want to probably stay. We want to get the word. Aap log kya yaha pe aaj puri naat rukhne wale hai? Agar Arvind Kejriwal ki taraf se wahan se koi clarity nahi milti hai, TV ke team ki taraf se kya action hai? Ab tak sir ki taraf se koi signal nahi mila. Aaj mera kya hai? Kya bolay? Aap usko pura kar dete hain. Okay, Rahul, you know, that is the word that is coming in from the protesters. They say until and unless they get a clarity of what the enforcement directorate will be proceeding with, they will be here outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal if it's for tonight or for days to come. In the meantime, Delhi police officials have also arranged buses. If we see a large number of protesters, uh, there will be imminent action. You can see. Okay, uh, my colleague Rajdeep Sardesa is going to take over in a moment from now. I want to show you in the meanwhile what Atishi said. Atishi is one of the senior most leaders of the Ahmadmi party, will have an important role to play if and when the Delhi chief minister does get arrested. So let's listen to what Atishi is saying about the AAP strategy. Now that it seems almost certain that Arvind Kejriwal is likely to be arrested probably tonight. The questioning is going on at this moment. Let's listen to Atishi and then Rajdeep will take over. Delhi Minister Atishi is joining us on India today as ED questions Arvind Kejriwal. This is the fear that you had for months that ED will come knocking at doors of Aam Aadmi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal. The questioning is happening right now. See, it is very clear what is happening today. This is not an attempt to summon Arvind Kejriwal or to question Arvind Kejriwal. The amount of police deployment, CRPF deployment over here makes it very clear that today ED is here to arrest Arvind Kejriwal. Why? Because Lok Sabha elections are coming and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scared of Arvind Kejriwal. Otherwise, what was the hurry? Does ED think that they are going to find piles of cash inside Arvind Kejriwal's house? Does it think that they are going to recover gold biscuits from Arvind Kejriwal's house? Do they think they are going to discover papers of shell companies inside Arvind Kejriwal's house? When for two years they have not been able to recover one rupee of proceeds of crime. The question is that you got the relief from Delhi High Court today. And after that, the ED officials have reached the first time. The first time, 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 the first time. 
देखिए ये बिल्कुल साफ है कि ये अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करने की साजिश है क्यों क्योंकि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अरविंद केजरीवाल से डर लगता है उन्हें पता है कि अगर कोई एक नेता उनको चैलेंज कर सकता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है पर ना क्यों एडी न्यायिक प्रक्रिया खत्म होने का इंतजार नहीं कर सकती थी आज ही हाई कोर्ट ने ईडी को नोटिस भेजा है तो क्यों नहीं जवाब देते क्यों नहीं कोर्ट के डिसीजन का फैसला करते ऐसी क्या हबड़ा तबड़ी थी कि आज रात को ही आने की जरूरत थी हबड़ा तबड़ी ये है कि लोकसभा का चुनाव आने वाला है और अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल निकलकर आम आदमी पार्टी के कैंडिडेट्स के लिए इंडिया अलायंस के लिए कैंपेन करेंगे तो वो नरेंद्र मोदी जी के सामने एक चैलेंजर है इसलिए हम आपसे कंफर्मेशन चाह रहे हैं हमें सुनने में आ रहा है कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट आप लोग पहुंच चुके हैं अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अर्जी लेके गए इमीडिएट हियरिंग के लिए इस पूरे मामले बिल्कुल हमने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में अर्जी डाली है मेरा मानना है कि शायद इसी समय के आसपास वो अर्जी फाइल भी हो गई होगी स्वाभाविक बात है कि हम लीगल प्रोटेक्शन के लिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाएंगे लेकिन ये लड़ाई लीगल नहीं है ये लड़ाई राजनीतिक है क्योंकि अगर ये लीगल लड़ाई होती अगर ये किसी जांच से जुड़ी हुई लड़ाई होती तो दो साल में एक छवन्नी तो रिकवर हुई होती और दो साल में सैकड़ों अफसर लगाने के बाद सैकड़ों जगह रेड करने के बाद अगर एक रुपया नहीं मिलता